Hey guys, TechMate Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, I've got magic in front of me. This box has the EcoFlow Delta double voltage hub in it. And if you've got one of these, and you've got two EcoFlow Delta Pros, well, guess what? You can take that hub and double the capacity. That's right, 7,200 watts, 7,200 watt hours. Let's take a look at this. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Well, let's just crack this thing open and see what's inside. Oh, it's so exciting. And here you go. Look at this. Look at this beast. The EcoFlow Delta Pro Double Voltage Hub. This only works with the Pro. We've got our user guide. We've got our warranty. And these guys just plug right into the infinity ports. And then you are rocking and rolling with a 30 amp or two 20 amps. Is that sick or what? And these things state 250 volts. Oh, look at that. 125 volt to 250 volt AC. Or up to 250 volts. Oh my. All right, so we are getting ready to demonstrate. I just want to demonstrate this. I've got a 240 volt dryer downstairs. And, uh, you know, I looked at the double voltage hub and obviously this port here, and I said, wait a minute, that doesn't match the dryer, which is this plug. So thank God Steve is around and he actually reached out to Rhea. She actually is one of the folks that does support with the uh, EcoFlow uh, group. And uh, she told Steve that we need to get an adapter. I'll put that adapter on the screen so you can see what it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and order that adapter. And thank you, Rhea. We really appreciate it because we really just wanted to do a review and demonstrate this hub so people knew what it was about, not just doubling your wattage um, and your voltage, but you know, just to show people you know, one of the ways you can use it, but that's normally for a home transfer switch is what she's told Steve. So we learn things every day. Again, thank you, Rhea. We appreciate it. All right, I have two tips for you. In order to use the hub, you have to make sure that your firmware is updated on both of your Delta Pros. So just make sure you do that. Number two, if you use the hub or the smart panel coming out in the future, anything connected to your infinity ports won't allow you to use the AC outlets on the Delta Pros. You can use the DC ports, but you won't be able to use the AC outlets while using the infinity ports. So just keep that in mind. It's just a good to know. So we are in the kitchen. We received the cable, the L1430P to the uh, 1030R. And so that is the L1430P, which again is usually for a home transfer switch. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in and come out with, you know, a 1030R, which will then plug in to my dryer. So let's start off 
connecting the infinity cables real quick here. Let's do that one at a time. And uh, let's see if we can change the angle of the camera here. All right. So we just put this in. And uh, nice and just make sure this thing clicks in. All right. It grabbed. Oh, you just want to make sure it pushes in and it clicks in so it's nice and tight. And the next one. Oh, that one clicked a little bit more than the other, so let me check this. Okay, so those are in. The hub is off, obviously, and the deep, you know, the Delta Pros are off. And uh, I'm going to take this now. It actually will go right in here. And then it actually twists to lock in place. So there it goes. Now I take this. All right. That goes in there nice and tight. Okay. Well, that's ready. Now I believe everything I read says first connect the hub to the do two uh, Delta Pros. Once that's on, then I can connect the battery. So I'm going to connect the battery after this is all on. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the Delta Pros. And you'll see here that it, they both recognize the double voltage hub. This symbol here is showing the double voltage hub. So that's good. Now, that it's not on yet, and I'm going to go ahead and connect my battery so I get that additional capacity. I'm just doing this. I don't really need to, but let me connect it. You have two battery ports on the Delta Pro. If you should always probably connect the battery, if you only have one, to the uh, port number one, because then when you're checking for updates, you know, this actual port... Number one, Ashley will help you check for updates. Port number two won't, and I'm talking about updates for the battery. So, let me just put it in here. Ah, uh, there goes that nice click, and there goes that thick wire. Now that the uh, extra battery is connected, it is showing it's connected. That's what this little icon is. And you'll see the same one here. And it actually shows one, which should be that it's connected to battery port number one. So there you go. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the hub now and just see what happens. Now, the firmware is updated, by the way, and that's important. Your Delta Pro firmware needs to be updated. Otherwise, this won't work. Okay, everything kind of kicked in. The inverters on both Delta Pros kicked in. So automatically turning on the inverters. Okay, we're gonna take this cable and bring it downstairs now and uh, plug the dryer in and see if it works. I'm connected on the app because I'm gonna wanna see when I go to the basement what happens. So, uh, I'm going to just connect to my first Delta Pro and it shows zero wattage or input of 20 because the battery is charging it a little by little. So I'll keep on this and bring the cable downstairs. All right, let's start going down the basement. Let's get over to the dryer room here. All right, well, here's the test. Will it work is the question. So, all right, it's just connected. It's not on. All right, let's see. Dryer's on. 
and it's running. Now I do have a wet load in here. I think it's only like a 30 minute load, but output 2,492 watts as this thing runs. All right, I'm gonna let this run and let's go up and take a look at what the machines look like. All right, the fans are on. The battery is feeding 1300 watts to the one unit it's connected to. And I've got output of 2450 watts on this unit and 2700 and some odd on this unit. Now, yeah, so I was just looking at one Delta Pro, right? So this is the Delta Pro number one receiving from the battery output 2,453 watts and a 240 volt dryer and uh, let's look at Pro 2 let's let this update and yeah it's pushing out 2,718 watts so guys <laughs> these units are pushing out over 5,000 watts if I'm reading this right it does say infinity report I have X boost off Wow. So, you hear the fans. Now they're quieting down. So, what is that? One is still running, but at low wattage. Did this fail? Well, I don't have any errors right now. I'm going to run downstairs and take a look at the dryer and see what's going on. Well, the dryer's still running. I don't have any errors whatsoever. It looks like it's just about to end, that's all. Now I'm going to throw this back on time dry. All right, I'm going to turn the power off. Turn it back on. I'm going to do a time dry for 20 minutes. So watch this. there goes the spike look at that 3,000 watts all right it's running for 20 minutes again I didn't get any errors no issues let me go upstairs and take a look at the Delta pros there they are the fans are on full blast again another 5,000 watts practically right same situation 1400 watts coming out of the battery 2450 on this unit, 2700 on this unit. Um, no errors, no issues. And we are running a 50 foot cable down to the basement, by the way, with this adapter. So I would call this a success. Go back to the Delta Pro 1. All right, it shows the input, shows the output. I'll tell you. So these machines are staying, by the way, that this battery will run for two hours based off the load. This Delta Pro will run over, uh, two hours based off the load. This one says it'll run for an hour based off that load, and it's got 95% battery. So 95%, 62%, and 64%. Wow, a double voltage hub. To the rescue with over 5,000 watts. Nice. Wow. Small load, a little over 25 minutes. I got my clothes dry, right? 240 volt dryer. Look at this 50 foot cable, all right, that I ran. No issues whatsoever. All right, thank you so much if you're still watching this video. I really appreciate it. You know, I didn't just want to do an unboxing on this thing. 
I really wanted to go out and get what I needed to, to just demo it. Again, this is made for a transfer switch, but I said, you know what? I'm getting the smart home panel when that comes out. So let me get this, let me have it, and let me do a demo. So I went out and got this actual cable that just converts, you know, like I showed you earlier. And um, yeah, I mean, look, if I was gonna dry my clothes, I'd hang dry it, to be honest with you, right? That's free, you know, but I said, let me do this demo so you can see it working, so you can see it. I mean, we were over 26, 27 minutes running, no issues, no errors um, whatsoever. You saw all the wattage, over 5,000 watts that dryer was using. That's crazy. Not for nothing, I might start hanging my clothes. <laughs> I don't, you know, when I do a wash, I do a big wash. But uh, listen, I hope this was helpful. Seriously, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there's more to come. We've got an in-depth review on the Delta Pro with testing. So that's coming up. But uh, if you enjoyed this, if it helped you in some way, give us a thumbs up. That really helps. Share our video. Um, if you could, and then tag me, that'd be great. And last but not least, uh, you know, subscribe. Become a member of the family. Thank you so much. Any comments, any questions, let me know. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.